Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Virgil Finley's Women of the Ages. Just absolutely beautiful black and white book all the way through. You see there, Virgil Finley, the acknowledged master of fantasy, science fiction and horror. Now, this book came out in 1992. Sadly, there are so few books. I do not know why there are not more books of his work. Because he did loads and loads. 35 years spent creating some absolutely beautiful artwork. And... So few books, and also a really slick, massive book would be really nice. But sadly, most of the books are like this, which is fine. But it would be nice to actually see a proper huge sort of volume to really see the detailed work. 1992, about 160 odd pages. There's 147, but with the introduction, of course, 160 in total, I think. So there you got details there. And let's say you've got introduction, got details about him, I must admit. Didn't know that he died in 1971. There's details there. January the 18th, 1971. 56. 35 years of fantasy. Did Weird Tales magazine and many, many others. Lots of examples of his work all the way through. Of course, again, if you're looking for other ones, obviously there are other books. The first book of, second book of, but they are quite expensive to pick up nowadays. I was really pleased to find this because quite often this book is quite expensive. I think it was about a couple of pounds. I thought, ooh, that's wonder why that's so cheap. Well, I thought I'm going to get that. So, Rhodes, Seabury Quinn, 1938. Absolutely brilliant book or novella. I just love that one. The Ships of Ishtar. And that one, I think that's Van Vock, I think, isn't it? I think so. Ship of Ishtar. There's some more details there. Thing about it, it doesn't give any details about dimensions or particularly much information. It's, it's nice that they include some information. Now, of course, this is, I assume, when this was actually published and not obviously when it was created. I don't know, because sometimes some of these might have been done like a couple of years before, maybe from different magazines as well, because sometimes these were reused, I suspect. Now, this one, a Lighthouse, a Allan Poe, and again, absolutely stunning. I mean, you could... You could create these in Photoshop, I'm quite certain, but it's so detailed. I mean, that stippling, I'm just glorious. Unfortunately, some of them doesn't give much detail. We've got here, like, from the American Weekly. There's a few of those from the American Weekly, and they all seem to be over the place. So there's some of these ones, doesn't give a date either, so who knows? But it'd be very hard to find from the American Weekly. Oh, this one does give a date. Silent Night. I mean, absolutely stunning. Now that one, let's have a look. Uh, Llama in the Lemire, in the penthouse, 1952. It's a pretty stunning, well, they're all stunning. I think they're absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Not a single one that you can really say looks poor quality, I don't think. There might be a few examples, but I think most are really super sharp. And I love, look at that effort that must have taken to actually create that lovely hair there. And, oh, it's that one there. Oh, it's... Sometimes it doesn't even seem to give a detail. Oh, yes, it does. There it is. I'm saying it doesn't. And then it does. Spiral of the Ages. And this one's Fletcher Pratt, 1954. But unfortunately, it doesn't particularly give any more details. It would have been nice to... Also, how it connects with the book itself. or Was it a book? Was it obviously a short story? I don't know. No idea. And it doesn't give that sort of detail. So could have been in any of the magazines. And here, even worse... Black and white illustration. Well, that's helpful. Super helpful, that one. Black. I assume it was actually published. I mean, I don't know. Black and white illustration, another one. Here we lie, Fox B. Holden, who I've never heard of. So, see, it looks great. And some more examples here. I mean, some are just beautiful. I mean, there didn't seem to be any. And looking through this, they all look absolutely super. I mean, look at the... There, the cross-hatching. I mean, that is just... Stunning, absolutely beautiful. That must have taken a while as well to create that, especially in the days before Photoshop, where, of course, now in Photoshop, you probably could duplicate that and create quite a few. But obviously back then, probably a bit trickier. So this was the Starkton Quest, Gilbert Collins, who I've never heard of. Black and white illustration again, unfortunately. Just says, that's it. I assume it was published somewhere, but that one looks slightly rougher, but not just parts of it, but still. The Mandarin's ear. Again, no idea when it was actually... And it would have been nice to have had a little bit, a little bit more detail about that. Astrological illustration. Again, doesn't give any details in terms of when that was published or not. The Dark World, Henry Cutner. There. 
1954. And all the way through, back right to the back, and then you've got just a little there, Virgil Finley's Science Fiction Horror. I don't think I've ever seen that one, unless that's the book two, Virgil Finley's book two, I don't know. Also, there's a Bernie Wrightson, A Look Back, and I think somehow that's quite expensive as well. It looks actually quite expensive there. You've got £34.95 for the soft cover, and of course, this is the soft cover. There was a hardback cover one. But this one, you've got here, deluxe copies bound in Iris linen cloth. Ah, oh, I think that was the one I had before, because I had this before, but it was in hardback. So it was slightly different copy, or in that sort of linen cloth. And obviously they were the more expensive ones. $125, wow. But that was Bernie Wrights, and I think that one's tricky to get to. Apparently, uh, 300 black and white illustrations, 360 pages, that sounds great. The Complete Masters of Darkness, Harlan Ellison's Watching, I read that years ago, and The Pursuit of, oh, lots of other details there. So that's it, Virgil, Virgil Finley's Women of the Ages, an absolutely glorious book, full of black and white illustrations all the way through, so if you're expecting colour, there's no colour, but still, absolutely stunning, and like I say, there's more details about Virgil Finley, weird tales, famous fantastic mysteries, startling stories, American Weekly, again, not an issue that I magazine that I've seen copies of ever but still lovely book absolutely pleased picking this up because so I've got the other one um I can't remember it's called now Strange Science or something it's called but uh, unfortunately the other copies I've had of his work I got rid of those <laughs> again one of those ones that I think oh why did I get rid of them because they're absolutely glorious brilliant book absolutely recommended